Now, this is the beautiful part about God. We can see people as petty. God can see people as flinching. They're flinching. Every turn they make, they're flinching. Why are they flinching? They're ultra sensitive. Why are they ultra sensitive? They're ultra, ultra wounded. Mm -hmm. And it brings up outbursts of anger, outbursts of rage, outbursts of violence, outbursts of all kind of stuff. Why? Because they don't know how to handle their emotions. But the good thing is they're in Christ. And when they're in Christ, God knows how to handle their emotions. God knows how to heal their emotions. God knows how to settle you, strengthen you, and establish you. So as long as you're seeking God for all of those areas where you know you fall short, just like I do, all of us have to, you got to stay on top of yourself, baby. I know this is going to sound crazy because it's humanly impossible. You got to sit on your own head. Picture that. Sit on your own head. Mm -hmm. And lock your lips until you're ready to vent with God and ask him for help. Yeah. Because I'm going to tell you this. Here's a magic formula. Here's a magic pill for you to swallow. A white one. When things stop bothering you, baby, you're at a fullness of healing in whatever area that was bothering you. When people stop getting on your nerves, you've got some more healing. Mm -hmm. God has done some healing, y'all. See, when you know that things are still a work in progress is when things still bother you. And the thing I love about God is it doesn't have to bother you always. As the old folks used to sing, it won't last always. As long as you're seeking God, as much as he can provide food, clothing, money, whatever your needs are, he can provide inner healing, wholeness, calmness, peace, joy. He can give you everything you need, but you have to acknowledge you have those needs. You have to acknowledge where you're weak. You have to acknowledge where you're broken. Excuse me. And it's good to explain yourself every once in a while. I had to do it with my husband all the time. I get my little grumpy days. Milton, this is what I'm tripping off of. It has nothing to do with you. So if I sound snappy, it's nothing you're doing. God knows what we struggle with internally. And your whole new world is right there within reach. The, the more you conquer and drive out, destroy the enemy, which includes your flesh, your thoughts, your words, your attitudes, your actions, the closer you are to your blessing, the closer you are to the fulfillment of what God has for you. Whole new world right there. Got your name on it. Door number one, door number two, door number three. Which one is it? You find out when you get there. When will you get there? When you do everything you can to destroy, drive out the enemy, mortify the deeds of the flesh. Mm -hmm. Love, love, love. Bless, bless, bless. Be merciful, merciful, merciful. Forgive, forgive, forgive. And as long as you live a life of love, forgiveness, mercy, kindness, insight, and always ask God for, I always ask God for these four or five things, more love, more mercy, more insight and understanding, more patience, more wisdom. and more knowledge. Those key elements will make life so much easier on you. When you know what you're dealing with, you know more how to react. You know what's more appropriate for the moment because you understand what's really happening rather than living a life being reactionary. Because see, when you're reactionary, you can curse your own life by your explosive behavior. I used to blow up at school. I would take my books and I'd slam them down. I'd scream at the top of my lungs and the teacher's looking at me like, what's wrong with that kid? I was hurting. 
because I was always made fun of. And I couldn't vent it because I was intimidated. So I kept it in and I kept it in and getting it from school and getting it from my mother and getting it from school and getting it from my mother and feeling like life was just pushing me down, pushing me down, pushing me down, pushing me down. I didn't do, I didn't know how to handle my anger and I would explode. When I exploded before the Lord, I asked him to forgive me after cussing up a storm. And then I took the time to say, Lord, why do I do that? What's wrong with me? And you know, God was so kind. He answered me. Rage. Now at that point, I'm shocked. Rage? Rage? I got rage in my heart? I got rage, but is that why I blow up like that? Rage? I felt ashamed. I said, oh God, (laughs) I didn't even know that was there like that. Lord, please take the rage out. Please heal whatever is causing all that rage. And that's when the path of healing began because I asked the question. That opened the door to years and years and years of inner healing. And when I find that certain things get on my nerves, When I find that certain things get under my skin, certain words, certain whatever, somebody hurts my feelings, somebody offends me, somebody, their personality, something wrong with them. First thing I start doing is, okay, Lord, what's wrong with me? Show me. I feel like my love tank is is almost on empty. I'm smelling too much of me and I stink. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Strengthen me on the inner man. Fill me with more of your love, with more of your eyes rather than mine, so I don't become judge, jury, and executioner. In Jesus' name. Then all of a sudden, a whole new world. Now the perspective is different. I'm looking from above rather than all in it. Stinking with it. I'm above it now. Why? The Lord lifted me up higher so I could see clearly. And when I see clearly, it's like, oh, okay, I don't have to be bothered by that. I don't have to worry about it. That's in your hands, Lord. Thank you. Calm comes. Peace comes. Why? Understanding came. Why? Your perspective changed. Why? You ask God for help. That's why. That's when you can start experiencing that whole new world. God ain't going to give it to just anybody. Any old Joe Blow. No, it's not going to happen. We've got to reach. Mm-hmm. You've got to, uh, how does the word say? you got to press toward the mark or toward the mark of the prize of the high calling, not the low calling, the high calling of God. God has called us to higher levels. Raise that bar, baby. Stretch. You can do it. You can do all things through Christ when strengthens you. Do it. The Holy Ghost is in you. What you can't reach, the Holy Ghost can. What you can't do, the Holy Ghost can do. What you can't handle, the Holy Ghost can handle. What you can't tolerate, the Holy Ghost can settle with. What you can't stand, the Holy Ghost can love. What you don't see, the Holy Ghost understands. Whatever you have need of, the Holy Ghost will help you do it. But you need the Holy Ghost, not your old nature. That old man, no, leave him in the grave. No, you need the Holy Ghost. And see, it's not about tongues. The most important thing is love. Though I speak with the tongues of angels and have not charity, have not love, I'm a sounding brass, like a tinkling cymbal, which means empty cans make a lot of noise, y'all. The emptier the can, the noisier it is. That's why you hear some folks in church, oh, hallelujah, oh, glory, oh, get out on the street, cuss somebody out in the New York Minute. They got tongues, but they ain't got control over it. Only the Holy Ghost can give you self-control. 
And see, it's those, those little details that can create a smooth path or a crooked rough path. Which way do you want to come? Easy or hard? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you saved either way. But your life can be so much easier when you do it all God's way as much as you possibly can. When you strive to do it, when you can feel sometimes rage coming up. There are times I want to take this mouse and I want to throw it because this is acting up or that's acting up and I'm annoyed with the editing and sometimes I just don't want to do any videos because I get sick and tired of the editing and the details and the, and the, and the, oh. Then I have to stop my little happy hips and say, sit down, shut up, Lord, give me peace. Lord, calm my spirit. Lay the mouse down. Keep Jack in the box and wait on the Lord to calm my spirit. Turn the computer off, walk away from it. Somebody arguing with you, they getting on your last nerve, put your finger up. Not now. Walk out the door, get in your car, sit out at the park, take a walk and talk with the Lord. Let God handle you before you try to handle it. You want that whole new world? You got to learn how to lean on the only God that can give it to you. Lean hard, baby. Lean hard. And your whole new world will come with splendor. And you get to enjoy every bit of it. You get to eat your cake and the icing and the cherry on top. Put a little ice cream on the side while you're at it. God bless you as you endeavor to reach, go in and possess your land in God's whole new world for you. Amen.